Hey everyone, welcome to Threshold. Welcome to our hot open. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To Threshold Homecoming, let's go around and meet the players. Hello everyone, I'm Patrick. I play a level 7 Swamp Man Ranger named Rene Bontemp, but you can call me Slick. And yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll. My name is Eric and I play a level 7 fighter named Sir Renard, the Knight of the Rose. My name is Zach and I'm playing a Wug Wug Priest who is a cleric and his name is Guillemot Redfoot. Get him on Ripper! Get him on Ripper! <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Casey. I play Clarion Jones, uh, level 8 bard extraordinaire. Oh yeah. So much better. <laughs> Hey everyone, um, uh, my name is Brian. Uh, I play Jamie something or Sir Jamie of something this season. Uh, what have I done? <laughs> he is. A, I can uh, see it on the wiki now. <laughs> Sir ja Jamie something aliases Jamie whatever names you've been using. Sir Jamie of something. Uh, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add that tonight. Uh, Jamie is a level eight warlock who's having a good time in Marais, seeing the sights of an ah far off land that he's never seen before. Hot time. <laughs> All right. So, um, as you guys remember last time, um, you had gone to the. Uh, you had gone to the. Well, you had the your father's funeral, uh, Clarion's father's funeral, and you went into into Crescent Crest, and you went to the Long Night, the the brothel, and you caught um, you caught <laughs> you caught a uh, Rene Couture, and. You held him down, uh, and yeah, you guys totally destroyed a chase that I had lovingly built. Um, well well yeah, that's, yeah. that's our goal. Uh, so then uh, you interrogated him for a little while. He told you the information in exchange for you giving a love potion um, to a, a, a dancer that he liked. Uh, and then you went and you talked to the dancer and she wasn't really into him and you left the potion with her basically giving her the choice of whether or not she wanted to take it and run away with him which I thought was a great way to uh, get the best of best of both worlds um, so well done um, I'm, I'm actually I'm really impressed about that go team so um, yes um, I'll let you guys uh, oh you you went back to the to the long night right. and uh, you um, either went to sleep or didn't. Yes. Jamie and I partied it up. Jamie and Slick did not go to bed right away. Yellow. You did go to bed, though? With, yeah. 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 Which, which room? <laughs> Number five. Number five. That's not even a question. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I need to give you a level of exhaustion again. <laughs> oh. I, I got the level of exhaustion because <laughs> 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 Rasper didn't let me sleep. I slept very well, thank you very much. Oh, all right. So we'll start. We'll start there. It's the uh, it's the next morning. You've all had a long rest, so heal your shit, get your spells back up. Yes. Woo! Let's do this. I'm playing guitar in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good, man. Well, all right. Jamie comes out of his room. Is, oh, am I sharing a room with Slick, or what's the... I don't know. Are, would you share a room with Slick? No, I think we, we probably parted and then went I think our, you paid the five rooms. gold pieces so everyone had yeah, their own room. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I ask, is there like a... Ta like, what's going on downstairs? Is there like a continental there's breakfast? A, yeah, yeah. There is. There's, a, there's a dining room and there's a continental breakfast. It's a nice, nice brothel. Uh, Jamie's going to go down to the uh, the continental breakfast and get like a bagel and an <laughs> apple. Great. <laughs> Two things that haven't existed just now. <laughs> Maybe a yogurt. <laughs> you you have a a bagel and um and an apple. God, where do you think apples are grown? They're probably sherry, right? Yeah. There's it probably works. orchards. Yeah. Yeah. The rolling hills. They're sherry apples. Sherry. Oh. Sherry. And they're and purple. Apples. Ooh. And they're purple. Yeah, I can live with that. Purple apples. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sitting at the table and I'm putting peanut butter on the bagel. Peanut butter also. Peanut butter is totally crazy. All right, all right. He, we can have all the breakfast foods. Yes. Why create a fantasy world if you can't have peanut butter? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I, I'm down. Are you in the I'm imagine? I'm in the. Yeah, I'm down there room. listening to Clarion. Clarion plays. There's a there's a group of people. There's a group of people watching. Bobbing her head. Actually, I shouldn't have had to pay for my room. Or at least, I usually don't have to. But I did anyway. Because <laughs> I like this establishment. Mm-hmm. Uh, Renard <laughs> Guillemot. Renard is downstairs consuming a Moraish oat scone. Very good. <laughs> getting, getting fancy. All right, Moraish oat scone. And working on a letter to Sir Boris, his superior among oh. the uh, Knight of the Southern Coast. Uh, what's what's the letter about? Uh, just telling him that he made it to Crescent Crest and has discovered some of the uh, compatriots of the one and only uh, Exaltus Populi. Exaltus Populi. <laughs> okay. And uh, also a uh, Wugwug priest and a curious forest <laughs> person that has the most quaint anecdotes. Yes. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> And that's, that's that could nice have gone a lot worse. <laughs> um, and he's letting you know that he's following the trail of the missing professor, and they may have a lead with the Marais, or Macaulay Marauders. Breakfast is over. Where to? I forgot that I banned breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, we go. All right, uh, Slick. Yeah. Slick. Mm-hmm. You know where to find this Wugwitch, right? Uh, not exactly, man. But we can find her, right? We know. Sure, we could find her. I mean, she's just out in the swamp, right? Well, you know the swamp better than anyone I know. Yeah, but I, I normally stay away from the witches and monsters and like crocodiles. Well, and then bears. you know, then you know where to avoid, and that would be the place where we want to go. I, I guess, man. I don't know. Couldn't. I don't know. Couldn't magic. Wug Wug Man do something about that? I have to have a piece of Mama Wug Wug in order to track her in that manner. Oh man, that's gross. <laughs> have you heard anything about where she might be? I This is news to me. I just know that there's some bad Wug Wug going on and Ebwob's not quite settled in this area as we realize the swamp seems to be putrefying. Can you... Is there any way to find the source? Like... Is it spreading from a distinct location and we can track that? I asked that guy last night out in the shack, but he just kind of said it was coming from everywhere. Hmm. He didn't give me any, like, reason to suspect he was coming from anywhere special. Might have to ask people around town or something. Is there know. anyone else in the dining room? Yeah, there's some pe- some people waking up. There's an old gentleman who's reading his, uh, his newspaper, his sherry press. Newspaper and printing press. <laughs> it's hand it's hand copied, that's right. I, I have yet to introduce the printing press. I think that's gonna be a big deal when it happens. <laughs> well what what do you what do you think, Clarion? Yeah, well, I mean we have we have McCallit Marauders to go after and we have this I think this Wugwitch should be our number one consideration. I got um I think the Marauders have the most information, so I think we'd have to go to them somehow before Do you know where they meet? I do I mean, know. It's been quite some time, but there were some old locations that we used to hang out. Okay, well, I say we. Uh, so like, go ahead and give me, uh, give me a uh, nature check. Nature. I Which think one? that's intelligence related. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh-oh. Which I believe you're proficient in. No, I'm no. wisdom. <laughs> proficient. Uh, you're proficient. You have the. You oh, have right. the. You had your proficiency modifier as a ranger. Oh, okay. Uh, I got a sixteen. Great. Um, you have a pretty good idea that um, you, you you do know some rumors that there's a uh, a notorious bullywug wug witch that lives um, maybe eight miles north of here. She's upriver. Okay. Um, the best way to get to her is to go up river by sailboat. Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. I remember hearing some rumors about Bully Wug Wug Witch up somewhere north of here. North ish? Yeah. 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 But 
We're gonna have to head up river, I think. By what means? Like a boat. That makes sense. Because it's a river. <laughs> By God, you're right. Uh, where can we get a boat? Boat rental place? They're probably, probably a dock. And uh, a actually, dock. Uh, we have a boathouse at my place. There's a boathouse on at the John's Estate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'll allow hid, it. <laughs> it's, it's where I hid my loot from my father. Well, somehow I feel a dinghy is not going to support our entire crew. Yeah, it might be two. We do have a giant snake with us. <laughs> let's uh, let's go to the dock, and we'll see what what uh, who we can coerce into loaning us our their boat. Yeah, I don't know if we need to coerce someone. Well, they're not going to give us our boat. <laughs> We have money. We we can pay them. Yeah, coercion by money. Yeah, you have money. You head down to the docks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Crescent Crest docks are starting to wake up for the morning. Some of the fishermen are uh, who left early. Some of the really early ones are starting to come in, uh, and putting their fish out on the out on the sides to sell. Uh, there's quite a few small sailboats that look like they would support you guys. You know that you could crew with five. Um, or, or less, actually, but you know they're pretty big, uh, like single mass, single mass sailboats. Okay. Mm. These look great. These are yeah, the kind of boats guess, we need. Uh, is, there, how... is there like some, like an attendant? Uh, there's. You can see that some of them are, are tied up, and there's some people like they, there's people sitting on the boats. Oh, okay. Is um, take your pick. How how long would it take to sail eight miles? How many well, days are we looking at? Plus, going up it, right? right up uh, normally, a sailboat travels about two miles an hour. Uh, yeah, so maybe a day or two. Four, four, hours. Hours. four hours. I'd say two days just to be safe, depending on how lost we get. For, it's for okay. river, yeah. So we're paying for two day, uh, sir. <laughs> I'd like to pay for two day rental on one of your uh, sink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't want, I don't what do you want with my boat? Days. Um, he's a uh, he's a he's a big gentleman. Uh, he has a, just a, one of those tiny vests on, like a, a vest that's way too way too s- small, small for, for him. Guy. So it like only covers up here, and he wears just that and a, <laughs> and a kilt, uh, and a kilt that's maybe a little too short too. Like he hit a growth spurt and never got his clothes fixed. <laughs> um, and uh, he's sitting on there. He's balding, but he's tan from all of his time in the sun. He says, "What do you want my boat for?" Well, uh, I was under under this understanding that this was a rental place, so I'm just gonna rent it and go up river. Mmm. What you going up river for? I need to know where my boat's going. <laughs> Give me a bluff. Give me a deception. All right. Is there? Oh, no, he's he's lying. He's, he's lying. lying. He's lying. He's lying. You don't like aid, right? Uh, <laughs> not <laughs> one. <laughs> he says, "You gonna steal my boat?" No. You're going to come here and lie in my face? No, we're not going to steal well, no, no, Look, man, we're trying to find a wug wug witch up north somewhere that we mm-hmm. think is messing up the swamp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, he, like, stands up and he says, Don't you be bringing the wug wug down on my boat. We're trying to get rid of the wug wug, man. He, like, looks over in, in uh, Zach's direction with, like, his top hat and his <laughs> tail. <laughs> <head off. laughs> <laughs> and he eyes him carefully and he goes, Mmm. Trying to get rid of the wug wug, off playing your cards off the coast to your chest. Well, T- takes one to know one, my friend. We gotta know the wug wug to get rid of the wug wug, right? Give me a, uh, give me persuade. Okay. That's something I can do. That is gonna be a twenty-one. All right, I guess that's true. You'd be doing great service getting rid of that wug witch out there. Mm-hmm. She might be the source of uh. The putrefaction of the the water, so mm, that water's turning brackish. Nothing, nothing can live in there. Yeah, it tastes know. gross. All the things live in there, the things that you don't want live in there. What kind of things? Oh, I I I've seen some things last last few weeks. Lizards, lizards the size of your head, and, and all kinds of. All kinds of nasty, nasty swamp creatures. I, I seen, I seen birds that normally, no, normal birds, you know, like that this big and they eat fish. Well, this, I, I seen a bird and it carried off a small child. I seen it with, with my own eyes. Insight. Eleven. Uh, he might be stretching the truth. 
No, that, no exaggeration. Uh, well, sir, I guarantee you, if we get rid of this wug witch, that the swamp will get better. All right. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, it's going to be 100 gold pieces a day. Pay the man. Gilman uh, walks over the boat. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to inspect it. See, everything has a spirit, according to Edwab, and mm. I think the wug wug is out of balance for this boat. So, Uh-oh. so let me let me inspect this. And he walks over and starts, you know, rubbing his hands against the boat blindly. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. I, this boat has seen things, hasn't it? It's, yeah, what's it saying? It's seen many things. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, thing. he, he's he's visibly nervous. What what are you talking about? This his his boat screams in pain. You. You do terrible things with this boat. What? What? What kind? What kind of terrible things? <laughs> you're the one. Don't you be bringing that wug wug on my boat. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of that wug wug. Man, we need the boat. We don't. Yeah, <laughs> stop, no, 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 stop accusing no, him. No, of doing no, I'll bad. tell you. I'll tell you. We'll, we'll take the boat out, and I'll I'll purify this boat. Okay. And I'll do it for free if you let us rent this boat. For, you, give give me persuasion, <laughs> or in this case, it might be deception. Uh, that is a seventeen. Uh, he says, "Okay, okay, I drop, I drop the price. How about, uh, how about fifty gold pieces a day? Uh, well, Just pay him the money." I, I feel we can do that now. You got to shake on it, there, boy. Yeah, he of course. Spits in my I'm hand. Terrified. He, 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 and he says, "You get, you get that that bad work work off my boat. Well, I will do it for you." Okay, he. Um, he, he says, it's all yours. I'll take half the payment now and half when you return. How many days are you going to take it for? So, so the plan's like two, right, Clarion? Two days. We're going to pay him two days. Right. Well, here's, here's 50, as you said, half up front, right? Mm-hmm. Right. You give him one of the, one of the uh, grand, grand goats. goats. And he <laughs> hangs on to it. He, he looks at it. That's a big chunk of money. He says, Okay. I'll see you when you get back. Indeed you will, sir. And you'll see your purified boat as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Hey, wait. Maybe I, I need some... No, no, whatever. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. <laughs> I'm done with this. We can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the head. I'm at the head of the boat. Great. Give me a uh, <laughs> give me a watercraft, a water vehicles. Charisma. Check. Here we go. I'm pretty sure it's wisdom. <laughs> um, it's a seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, you get on and the the boat just starts like turning to one side, and the uh, <laughs> the boom is just like swinging hard, like back and forth. Is there something? Have you ever uh, sailed a boat before? <laughs> A boat? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I've sold, like, not these kind of boats. Like, these are weird boats. But I, I, I have the whole concept of selling a boat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, before you hurt anybody, now, now let me give it a try. Swim. It seems <laughs> like it needs a finer hand. Does anyone have proficiency boats? I do not. <laughs> no. Okay. Just curious. I have proficiency land mean. boat. Proficiency water vehicles actually is a thing. Is it, oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, you, oh, yeah, yeah, because they have vehicles. You get it as part of the sailor background. Oh. I don't think any of us know how to sail a boat. Okay, just curious. Yeah, you, um, you can do it with wisdom. Jay- Jamie, Jamie, I, I want to try and do it with wisdom. Is that okay? I'd feel more comfortable with either Slick or uh, get them on uh, steering the boat. Fine, whatever. I think go and the wheel goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Twenty-one. Oh yeah, you take it and it <laughs> straightens out. <laughs> also, Jamie, you were a little uh, liberal with money that ain't yours. I would uh, appreciate it if you let me do the negotiation for how much things cost. Uh, as far as I was concerned, there was no negotiation. The guy won money. We have a goal. We have money that we didn't have a couple days ago. Give a man some money. I, I tried to knock the price down for you. I saw that. Uh, whereas, it seems like I'm the financier, and I'm glad for your guys' company and and appreciate you all coming along. I, uh, I this this is my money, and I know I. Uh, Fine. Be more inclined. If you want to, if you want to be 
a penny pinching adventure. That's your business. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> hey man, it's your money. Whatever you want to do. Uh, so you guys are uh, you're sailing on the boat. You're you the you go up through the up through the town up through the mouth of the river. Uh, like I said, it's about eight miles. Um, yeah. Any any conversations you guys want to have on the boat? Do you do you have like armor? Huh? Uh, I studded leather. leather. Oh, okay. I have, but I have you have your shield, right? I do you have a Yeah. Okay. Is it a buckler or is it a full shield? It's a buckler. Okay. Renard, I was I was curious. Uh, do you choose how, which which quest you're sent on, and how did you guys catch wind of this missing guy? And I just like to know a little bit more about how your organization works. And <laughs> um, we're knight errants, so it's usually the common folk will send us a request. This one was a bit of an exception. Uh, the ITT Magical Institute actually came to <laughs> reach out to us. Um, we gained a little notoriety after uh, the Battle of Sherryton uh, with the uh, Cruer Potentia, I believe. There were some rogue elves that showed up. Mm, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and so the uh, Institute reached out to us and we. So, like, they pay you and then you go do stuff. Uh, like a mercenary? Not necessarily. They gave us some travel money, but usually we do stuff for uh, for free for the people that can't afford it. For free, man. All right. And how? And uh, did you volunteer, or is there only one of you, Trout Scour and Murray? Or? There are seven of us. In the whole organization. In the whole organization. Wow. Yes. Man, that's a lot. We're usually mainly in Sherry, but sometimes we'll come into Arrow or uh, hmm. Moray. Uh, Clarion, make a make a history check. Feeling lucky. Fourteen. Uh, you you know that there um, that the organization dates back to like right around the founding of sh- of the Sherry region. People uh, coming okay. south from Arrow. Um, it was disbanded for a little while, but started back up. Um, after after the Imperial Sherry, and there's a whole big collection of stories written about the original knights, okay. sort of like in their their chivalrous deeds from across the land. So it's kind of this new organization, well, newish organization, is an echo of that older one. Um, think like Arthurian kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, Knights of the Round Table. Mm. So this is like if someone started up a new Knights of the Round Table. Wow. Yeah. Right, what am I doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Sharpening my daggers. Mm. That's what I chose to do. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze is slithered to like the front of the boat and is just kind of enjoying the breeze. breeze. The breeze on <laughs> her scales. <laughs> Ever make a perception check? Twenty. Seven. Twenty. Um, Seven. You've gone maybe Three. twenty minutes or so. You've come into um, into more of a like a the swamp's gotten a, quite a bit thicker. It's now pretty thick on either side. Uh, once you get a little bit out of town, of course, the swamp gets real thick real fast, uh, especially around here around a body of fresh water. Um, as you sort of move in a little ways, you can see that the the trees of the swamp actually grow so thick over this river that it, it looks almost like nighttime because it's so dark. Um, and again, like that layer of fog actually starts to creep in as you get further out. Um, there's lots of uh, lots of vines and stuff hanging down. And you can hear the sounds of some animals coming backward, uh, going back into into the denser parts of the jungle. Uh, does anyone have above 15? On um, perception? Yeah. 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 One, two, three. Great. Um, you guys can see just beyond the, the clearing. You can see some uh, tribal bullywug warriors, kind of like watching you guys from the from the shadows. Can you see, you see that? Can I see that over there? I do. No, I, no. What are we looking at? Bullywugs, man. Well, aren't they native to these spots? Yeah. yeah. They, they what are they? Do, what are they doing? Like why? They're, they're watching us. Watching us. Watching us. Well, that doesn't sound right. Hmm. Do you? Are they, no one speaks. Do they speak? I speak well. I mean, I am from Moray. If you had not left, you may have learned the tongue. <laughs> you guys hear coming from behind you the sound of a boat hitting water, 
and you turn around and you see that there's a uh, you know a bullywug canoe um, and some of the bullywugs are, are piling up to you. They look like regular bullywugs, but they sort of paint. They have like colorful paints that they paint themselves in, like so they kind of look a little more like tree frogs. It's like war paint Ooh. or oh, yeah. Man. These guys aren't messing around. You can see that they have um, they have blow guns and they have spears. Um, they start to get pretty close to gaining on you. They're maybe about uh, fifty yards back. Do you recognize I mean, these this tribe, Gummo? Well, let me see if I do. Give me an intelligence check. Um, ten. Um, you yeah. you look. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You would know that. Um, uh, Gilmon, you look at them and you're not exactly sure. It could be one of a couple of tribes based on their paint. Um, Slick, you know that they are a uh, bullywog tribe called the the Gubbies. Okay. Um, and they're a uh, they live north of the north of the place, and they're pretty they're pretty ornery bullywogs. They don't like people they're intruding on them. Yeah. Um, ever make another perception check? Shoot. Seventeen. Nine. Uh, Eleven. Twenty. Natural one. Okay. Um, Jamie, you hear a snap happen, uh, the other way, and you whip your head around to see what it is. Everyone else, um, you ignore the, you ignore the twig snapping, and, um, twenty. Unnatural. That's fine. Um, 20, 15? About 15? 11. 11, okay. Um, and what did you... 9. 9 and... 17. Okay, great. So the, uh, the two of you guys see, while you guys are focusing on the bullywugs and while you're telling everyone about their identifying marks, you want to tell them? Oh, yeah. Guys, I am messing around. These are gubbies. Local tribe. They do not like people in their territory. Squeeze, come here. I can squeeze. Come and kind of just... Wraps around me. You, can you get along? Can you tell them we come? We just want to pass through. We're not hostile. Well, I mean, you know, you know, they don't like people, so that may not. That may. Well, it sounds like this is the only path to get through. So we're either fighting our way through, or there's no we're talking, talking to our way it, man. No talking. I'm to telling you. Uh, well, Renal and Gilmon, as you guys are having this discussion, you can see a dark shadow pass under the Bullywug canoe. A big, a big, dark shadow. And then everyone, except Jamie, who's looking the other direction, sees come out of the water a huge alligator mouth. And it just comes, <laughs> crushes the canoe, and dips down back into the water. Wait, a they, couple of the bullywugs are like out like swimming on the side, and the huge uh, crocodile disappears back down into the river. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, holy. What yeah, happened? Um, is there one to speed this up? <laughs> Wait, that feather... Didn't we have oh, that feather? Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Who's got the? I got it. All right, everyone roll initiative. Yay! Yay. Oh, ba, ba, ba. nineteen. Boop, 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 boop. Twenty-two. Jamie is not paying attention at all. He rolled a three on his initiative, so he's in his own good. little. <laughs> world. Sort of like... Did you party a little hard too much to the brothel? <laughs> Maybe. Might be giving mental high fives to Meta or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We noticed that stick and no one else did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, watch out for uh, that Claire, stick. What do you got for me? Not four. Ooh, and get them all. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Um, so we're gonna try another chase. Yay! Yay. Except for this Ooh, is a we're being escape. chased. Yes. This is an escape. Ooh. Ooh. The tables have turned. Do you have like a rappel with your? Uh, so, Compulsion, yeah, um, I should anything. mention that, uh, I should have mentioned this a little bit earlier, but um, you are only going about, it's a, the swamp water because it's thick and, and brackish because it's changing. Uh, so, like, you know that you're going about half the speed that you normally would. Okay. Um, so, uh, it's going to take about eight hours. Okay. So, each round will be an hour. Or is, excuse me, each round, each everyone's turn represents a half hour of time sailing on this. Uh, oh, man, sailing on this place. Is it time, time to dig in? Yes, it's a slow chase. Um, I have a new table, so the, what will happen is after everyone's turn, it will affect 
whoever is whoever's next still, but it's sort of like it's going to affect the whole boat. Okay. Um, there was something I was going to look up in here. I don't remember what it is. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> so It'll come to me if it's important. Uh, so if you guys want to place something down there. Is, is the red die the... Uh, uh, that could be your boat. Oh, uh, I forgot that I placed it there. My, my big green die. Oh, that's even better. Give me back my red one. Oh, the red... Uh, no, the red one can be you guys and the green one can be where you think the alligator is. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> the alligator, ha- you have a bit of a head start. He's a, he's a ways back. The scale isn't... Um, the scale isn't exactly right. Um, so I'll let um, I'll let you guys. Uh, oh, let me order you guys an initiative. Excuse me. So uh, Renard will be up first, then Slick, um, Guillemont, Guillemont, Rip, um, <laughs> get it. Then Clarion, then Jamie. Okay, great. Um, so you guys, the boat can move. Um, so it can still dash, right? Mm-hmm. Um, its speed is two, so it can move up to four. Okay. <clears throat> I don't believe that the con. Um, I don't think that it, the boat has a con save. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Perfect. So Renard, you're up first. Um. Okay. So just move it. Yep, two. move the move. Uh, yep, you can move the boat two or four. Yeah, we gotta get get going, man. Um, yeah, how many boosts do we have, or just as many? As as you okay, yeah. So I'll move four. Perfect. And I'm also gonna ready my crossbow. Okay. Uh, so it is an hour. So you can kind of you guys can kind of describe what you're doing, and it we can like you guys can have conversations and stuff in between on the turn. Can I attune to this feather token at all? Yeah. Um, absolutely. You want to investigate it for a little while while you yeah. look up how it works? Perfect. Um, it's in the DM's guide. It's oh. the Qual Feather token. I don't think I... It's not over here anymore. What? Well, I'll let you borrow mine. Thank you. Thank you. The DM's guide is not a... No, I thought you wrote it. I don't know. Not the Feather token. <laughs> <laughs> My DM's guide is a set of post-it notes. Oh, yeah. Um, alrighty. So, Renard, go ahead and roll your d20. Uh, six. Okay, perfect. So, um, as you guys are are moving along, um, Slick, you notice that uh, the there's a all of a sudden there's a bump from the side of the boat as the crocodile bump tries to hit the side and push okay. it over. Uh, so it starts to tip. So the boat starts to uh, the boat actually does flip onto its side and starts to capsize. So I need a strength or dex save to ride it. Okay. Uh, can we help him? Good. You you can't help with the roll, but you guys can describe. It's going to take oh, okay. all of you as a team to describe what you're doing. Uh, that went dex fifteen. Okay. Uh, so tell me what you guys are doing. How are you how are you fixing this? So it's starting to capsize. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to. Over. So we're going to start over. like running over to the other side of the boat to try and put our weight on that side of the boat. I yeah. think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 15 makes it. You guys cling on to the, the far side of the boat, and it... <laughs> slowly. <laughs> it writes itself. Holy crap! Woo! That's one big hidden. The uh, sound of the jungle... <laughs> continues going. Uh, you guys continue to sail another another half hour. Uh, so select because you pass the save, you can go ahead and move. Okay. Uh, so we can move... Four. Uh huh. All right, I'm gonna go to there. All right, get them all. Oh wait, should I should roll? Yeah, roll yeah. Oh yeah, eleven. So does it still Great. look like the gator's pretty close to the boat? It's hard to say. He's under the water. You can't really see him. I'm gonna ready an action. Next time he pops up, I'm gonna cast a spell and try and blind him. Okay. That's not twenty. Um, oh, I have to roll my d20, correct? For the effect yes. of the boat, uh, fourteen. Okay, uh, nothing uh, for for the slicks roll. You nothing happened, uh, and you affect the next person. Great. Uh, so the uh, you can see the crocodile is continuing to stay pretty close behind you. He's like right up on your on your guys's tail, and he 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 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 gonna stay pretty much right on top of you guys. Oh, okay. Because he can cut through this water pretty easily. Um, and he swims through, uh, swims through the waves, and you can see that he's working pretty hard to keep up with you guys right now. But uh, he's definitely right on your tail. He is going to bite the boat. Oh, Don't bite, bite the boat, baby. Bite, bite the boat. Don't tip the boat over. He hits the boat. And he's going to deal it some damage. Uh-oh. How much HP does the boat have? That's what I was looking at. It's in the DM's guide. I'm pretty sure it's 300. Oh, We're going to get swallowed whole by Gator. Here we go. Great. So he um, takes a uh, takes a big chomp out of the boat. Uh, you can He doesn't take a chomp out of it. But you can see he hits the side. You see his teeth like very wide come up to the side. And it's not as easy to slam as a canoe, but you can see this teeth poke a couple of holes in it and the uh, and he then goes back into the water after it's sort of like starting to crush the side of it. Does that give me enough time to get my spell off? Sure, go ahead. Right. Um so I grab out one of my voodoo dolls that looks more mm-hmm. animal shaped, mm-hmm. grab both the uh, limbs and start squeezing as hard as I can and staring down the gator. Great. Um, um, give me a con save. Ooh. Nineteen? Uh, 19 makes it. The uh, alligator, as you start to blind him, rah, pulls away from the boat and slips back into the water. Um, I will roll a d20. Clarion, you're up. Uh, I will uh, move to the side of the boat and ready to cast Animal Friendship when I see him next. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, excellent. Are you going to move the boat? Um, you can move it too. I can move it too, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that here? No, no, that's Are one, we? two. Yeah. Okay. I can't. The score is diagonal, so it cancels one. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, nothing nothing bad happens while you're uh, while you're going. Yeah. But, uh, roll your d20. A 20. Ooh. <coughs> Alright. Uh, Jamie, you're Jamie up. Jamie is going to move the boat four. Great. And uh, no complication from Clarion. That's, that's my turn. That's all I'm going to do. Six, uh, nine. Great. All right. We are back up at the top, Renard. Um, what are you guys doing, by the way? What are you doing while you're... Because this is like, you know, <coughs> been like maybe four hours now. I think we were on, an alligator on, your on edge, but now it's been a little quiet. So maybe the conversation's starting back up. We're all still well, pretty tense. That and there's water... I figure someone would want to be on the. There's a slight amount of water trickling in, so. Uh, I'm mean, looking that. behind us, just like staring at the water nonstop, just so I can maybe at least shout out if I see the shadow come back. Um, I can ritual cast any spell, so I'm just sitting there cast like continuing in almost like an aura of animal friendship, I guess. Oh, okay. What's the uh, what's the save on that? So wisdom save. Oh. Eleven. That would be a failure. Yep. So. So what does that do? The spell lets you to convince uh, lets you convince a beast that you mean it no harm. Choose a beast that you can see within range. So maybe I can't do it until I see him. Uh, okay. It must see. It must see and hear you. The beast intelligence is four or higher. The spell fails. Okay. I don't know if it thought we intended it harm. <laughs> It's neutral hungry right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is some bad. This is a bad area, slick. You don't live anywhere near here, do you? Nah, man. I ain't seen gators this big ever. That thing could feed me for months. Uh, Renard, while they're while they're talking, um, give me a perception check. Uh, nineteen. All right. Uh, you know some shallow water up ahead. Um, uh, ooh. That you're gonna have to just. Oh, there's some shallow water. <laughs> Who's driving? Oh, Gilmon. Gilmon. Gilmon still driving. Oh, he just cast a spell. Like a. Uh, unless, troll or unless, something? I guess this only takes. It takes an hour, so I guess we can roll table yeah. rolls and stuff like that. So the uh, he he not you steer yeah. out of the way of the water. Yeah, Great. I would like okay. to try and steer. You don't have to. You just okay. can. He already okay. passed the check for you. So go ahead and roll your twenty, Eric. Uh, eight. Excellent. Okay, Slick. Uh, what are you What are you up to? 
Uh, we still can't see the the gator, right? Uh, correct. Um. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna try and cast uh, speak with animals. Uh, oh. And see okay. if I can talk to the gator. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you need line of sight with them? No, it just it's, it's casting. I'm casting on myself. Oh, okay. And it just says you can speak with animals. Yeah. Great. Uh, and I so can you, possibly persuade it up to your discretion. <laughs> yeah. So you you cast a spell. All right. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, hey, gator. Gator, are you there? While you're calling down into the water, um, the give me a. It's a choice of yours, either a dex save or a wisdom save. Uh, I want your deck save. Twenty-one. All right. As you are, uh, as you're calling down to the alligator, the the boom of the boat swings wildly across the bow, and you duck down out of the last second, uh, and you narrowly avoid getting hit. Hey man, who's driving this thing? Hey, no backseat driving. Uh, uh, excellent. Really, you twenty. Okay, I'm moving though. I uh, two because he cast the spell. Oh, and then can I move it too for my the six? Cause I... uh, oh, because you didn't move it for yeah. yours. Yeah, great. Okay. It was a six for two hundred. Roll a d twenty. Oh, it was a six. Yeah, and roll it again. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. Um, it's it starts with a Q. Feather token. It's qual. It's a qual feather token. Ah. Uh. It's dumb. Mm. Uh, really dumb. Uh, great. Um. That w- oh, Gilemon. Okay, um, you Gilemon, as you're because you're steering, you look off to the sides and you notice that the uh, after a little while you see some like steam coming off the sides of the boat. The water is actually so acidic that Ooh. it's starting to burn through the sides of the boat. Does it, it look like, like it's like, going to continue on like that? Yeah, and it looks like it might be uh, starting to hurt the integrity of the hull. Okay. Uh, guys, we, we got an option here. We can uh, we can either continue on this road, which appears to be leading to a very melty demise, <laughs> or we can try and park this and run on foot. Uh, it might be very, very far to run on foot. Yeah. Plus, there's, like, bullywog tribes out here. And there's that gator that we haven't quite dealt with yet. yet. And gators can go on the land. I say we push push on. Um, is this, um, you hear that the sound, there's some water that's, um, starting to pour into the sides of the boat. So if you guys are going to continue, you got to start bailing. All right, cool. Um, so give them all, you got to give me a con check because it's the endurance of bailing for the next half hour. 19. Great. Um, so you jump down there, you're bailing, you're bailing water out now, uh, and... You 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 know you don't tire over the next little while to okay. start bailing out. Who wants to steer? Uh, I'll steer, I guess. Select steering. All right. Uh, get them all. Roll your d twenty. All right. I got seventeen. Excellent. Um. Bump. Ah. Gators eating the sides again. Oh, Damn it, Gator! We're trying to gator. eat the boat. And he's swimming in this water too. That's mighty dangerous. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So does the animal friendship work now? That's, that's or? What I'm... Oh yes. So he, I already rolled his. We'll say before. So he fails. So he doesn't think that you're you mean him any harm. And you you can see him and probably talk to him now. You can get his attention. Okay. Because so he nice. can't hear. He can't necessarily hear you when he's underwater. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm like, hey, okay, hold up a second. <laughs> it, it it like pulls away and it like looks in your direction with his eyes. There's only a couple of us here, but back the way that you came from, there's a bunch of tribes of bullywogs and lots of good eating. I'm telling you, man, we ain't worth it. Just go. Uh, to you guys, it just sounds like animal noises. <laughs> <laughs> Inhuman animal noises. Can you warn it about the water, too? <laughs> give, me a, give me a persuade. All right. Oh, crap. Uh, five. The uh, al- alligator, uh, his eyes kind of... Uh, go ahead and take advantage on that because of Clarion's animal friendship. All right. Um. Fourteen. Okay. 
good enough. The uh, the gator he dips down back into the water and he pulls back. I'm going to cease casting or keep playing Animal of Friendship, and I'm going to help bail water as well. Great. Uh, let's keep going. Clarion, it's your turn. Um, oh, uh, I need to roll a d20. Okay. Uh, Clarion, you're up. You're going to build water. I'm going to build water and move it to. Excellent. Go ahead and roll your d20. Sure. Does you need to make a con check for building water? 15. Only, if, only to overcome the challenge initially. 15. Uh, great. Uh, Jamie. So Jamie now knows how this fan works, or this, to- this feather tongue works, because he found the right page in the book. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, Your book of artifacts that you mm-hmm. carry? No, I'm a book in my head that oh. I, I see. Uh, and you so he's going to say to the group, Hey, everyone, I can make the boat move faster without help, or we want it on the way back. Wait, um, can, you, can you only do it once? Yes. Oh. That seems like something well, we might want to be saving. Have we lost the gator? Well, this boat's falling apart. Are we going to have a boat on the way back? Also, how are we going to pay that guy? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I already owe lots of people money. I can't, I can't go any further in debt. That's a good point. I think the boat might deteriorate. Like I don't think we might. I have a boat on the way back. Better use it now, man. Uh, sounds good. What do you guys think? I'm gonna take the. Uh, go ahead and use it. Feather token of the fan or whatever qualls. Describe it. All right. So it's a it's a little it's a feather. Yeah. It's a little feather. I assume off of like some sort of uh, goose or something. Like yeah. That. Uh, the this this one is uh, yeah. This one is goose feather. Okay. Uh, so because of the, of the fan, I can, I'm going to go to the back of the boat, mm-hmm. and I'm going to try and throw it 10 feet in the air. Uh, the token disappears, and a giant flapping fan takes its place. <laughs> it disappears in a puff of smoke, and a huge fan is there to take its place. Yeah. But, uh, because, uh, uh, yeah, because Jamie used it, it's not like a fan. It's like a, like a fan, like a... <laughs> <laughs> it's that fan. Uh, and what the heck is that? <laughs> Uh, it starts the, pushing air at. Uh, yeah, the fan floats and creates a wind strong uh-huh. enough to fill the sails of one ship, increasing its speed by five miles per hour for eight hours. So you went from a boat going two miles an hour have to one mile an hour to a boat going six miles an hour have to three. So now you guys can move uh, three times the number of spaces. Okay. okay. It's going too fast! <laughs> uh, so, Jamie, it's your turn. So uh, Yeah, so I just did that. Magic's weird. So I can't yeah. dash that Especially in action magic. like that. Yeah. So I'm going to move. Three. What? Three? Uh, is it like it six? Six? Actually, right? six squares now? Uh, it, yeah, it went from two yeah. to to six. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Your boat is going fast now at this river. You guys are coasting. It feels good. The breeze feels good. It's happy Woo-wee! days. Uh, Bernard, uh, hey, go no, ahead no, and roll no, your d twenty. Seventeen. Okay, uh, Renard, um, go ahead. It looks like it's clear sailing. Perfect. So I'm gonna move six again. Yeah. Ooh. Now you guys there. are zooming. You've definitely left that gator in the in the dust by now. Uh, Slick. Oh, go ahead. Uh, seven. Okay. Uh, Slick, you're steering now. You see that there's a big rock in the uh, big rock in the road. A uh, Titanic moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to steer around it quickly. It All comes right. out of nowhere. Give me oh. uh, a pilot watercraft check or a dex check. Dex it is. 23. Oh, yeah. You. <laughs> at your high speeds. You guys have like a little wake going on yeah. behind oh, no! <laughs> oh. you. Oh, no! I'm not moving. fly around. over the rock. <laughs> Please, around like a banister while also around my waist. Oh, like, take hold you in place. place. <laughs> you guys continue to motor along. Go ahead and roll d20. Oh, you can move it. Oh, you can move it the full like, 12. You're done! Yes. You Yay! made it! <laughs> so I don't know we exactly... The... I don't really know how to stop this thing. Like, I guess I can... Just... <laughs> can we just, like, barrel <laughs> into this? <laughs> so I, I can dismiss the boat as an action, but my turn isn't for, like, four people's turns. So... I, it, it, it's loose. You could dismiss it any time you want. But, um... Yeah, you, uh, you continue the, um... The boat... Uh, the boat moves along, and you sort of pull off. This area is less of a river, and it kind of opens up into more like a swamp, right? So it's it's more like Everglades. Okay. Uh, 
and I have three miles an hour is still good. You can always use less wind. You can always go slower, right? You can cut the sails or yeah. mm-hmm. all that. Um, and so you you sail through the bayou. Um, you're in about the region where you think she's probably going to be. Is it getting? Pro- did it get progressively? Yeah, is the worse? worse? The uh, water no, the water got a little bit better actually. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Except for the acidic part. Are there still like dead animals around? There's still uh, there's still quite a few. The whole area, um, as you got farther away from the city, actually got a little bit better. Mm-hmm. It's still creepy. It's still creepy, Moraish swamp. Yeah. yeah. But it, there's no longer like piles of dead animals everywhere, and the Acid isn't burning the boat. Much like those uh, times we'd hang out in moonlight and, and uh, play music and sing to Ooh. our heart's content. Those were the days. Back Way back when. Uh, all right. So, um, what's the game plan to find this Wug Witch? <sighs> well, uh, if we're within 1,000 feet, I can cast a spell. Or uh, we could probably do it the old-fashioned way, right, Slick? I... I could ask some animals if they've seen her. That's probably the, like the oh. best, best choice. <laughs> I have that to make be, friends with them, too. Be. Animal friendship. So, can, so, yeah, so let's, do we see any animals? Uh, give me a perception check. All of us? Or just no, I'm not. Like, okay. Nine. Uh, do you get any bonuses for like tracking animals? Uh, yes. Think so. Well, oh, I, I have a natural explorer bonus for swamps. Oh, great! What does that mean? So <laughs> that means that if we've been in the swamp for a while, I think I get a bonus to rolls. I'm actually, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. That's okay. Mm, can I ritually cast yeah. animal? Friendly? That means difficult yeah. terrain doesn't slow my group's travel. Oh, can't, we can't become lost by magical means. Hmm. I wish I would have known that. Uh, you, you guys would have been zooming. You guys would have been moving. While tracking 24 other creatures, squares. you also wow. learn their exact number of their sizes and how long ago they passed through the area. Oh, so you just know this? Yeah, I just know. Great. Where I am. Um, so you can you look at some tracks like on some of the dirt that's that's around some of those trees with the you know the the weepy knees and the and Clarence classic animal friendship. Uh, you're singing some song about animals. Yep. Uh, remind me, I gotta write like 16 who, new songs. Who let the dogs out? It's an old crooning. Uh, so um, you can you look kind of at some of the tracks uh, from the you guys like park along to some dirt, and you look down at some of the tracks, um, and you see. I'll give you a couple options. You see, um, you see some snake tracks. You see uh, owl bear tracks, swamp owl bear tracks, um, and you see some small gator tracks. Hmm. Okay. What was the middle one? Uh, Owl bear. Owl bear. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> what do you think, Slick? You're leading the way. Uh, we're gonna follow these uh, snake tracks here. See if we can find a nest or something. Chat yeah. them up, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Have good. commune. Uh, great. Uh, you follow the snake tracks, uh, and uh, it doesn't lead you too far. It leads you actually. You can see that they go up in a tree, uh, and you can just barely make out the snake on one of the top branches, okay. sunning just itself up just above like, where the, the you can actually see the sun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I walk underneath it, and I just start mm-hmm. talking to it. <laughs> I, I just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Like start making some noises and it starts. All right, uh, the down, snake looks down at you. Do you actually you speak to them, right? Yeah, like straight up. All right, what do you say? Like, hey there, snake up there. Hey. <laughs> the snake looks looks down at you. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you talking to me? Have you seen a wug wug witch around here? Or anybody at all. Snake starts snaking down between the branches and he comes up towards you and he says, mm, What is a wug witch? Have you, just tell me if you've seen any people around here. 
bipeds like me. Anybody like me around here? Mm, there is the frog woman. Frog woman. And I turn around and say, Snake says saw a frog woman. Would that be? Well, they did say a, yeah. a bully wug yeah. wug wug witch wug. Alright, where, where, where was that at? Mm, it was about 500 snake lengths. <laughs> towards, I know exactly what you mean. Towards the, the place where I usually eat right. swamp rats. Where are the swamp rats at? It points in that direction. That way. Alright, I point and show them what and, and like, okay, come here. I'm gonna grab my knife and then <laughs> <laughs> Okay, make an attack roll. Wow. I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> we were just on a boat for eight hours, I'm hungry. <laughs> Alright, uh what what you you dagger. Mean? Dagger. Alright, here we go. Uh, ten. Uh, uh like you get advantage. You get moments? advantage, yeah, because it's because they are surprised. Okay. Uh, sixteen. That hits. Right. Go ahead and deal critical damage. So you just backstab this poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about poor thing. I just suppose roll, it is a lot. Roll double your dice. Uh, okay. Uh. Oh yeah, just max your dice. Oh, that would just okay. That'd be. No, eight. Oh no, you, you're right. You roll double. You roll double. Dice. Yeah. I'm thinking playtest rules. Yeah. All right, that's four and three. So that's seven. Great. You uh, you stab it <laughs> and it dies. It's like, mmm. All right, who's hungry? And I just I lop the. Head off. So I that's my bag, and I start like. I was kind of got animal gun. friendship on that thing. <laughs> well, it was, it was pretty friendly. <laughs> so I meant master snakes, though. To be honest. <laughs> Look, is that is that how you got your name? You you, you trick people, and then you just kind of stab them really quick. Oh no, man! I got that name from when we were kids. Me and my brothers, we'd all just go jump and slide into the mud. And I'd always go the farthest. Oh. Uh, you guys want to take a short rest while Slick cooks some snake? Sure. Yes. Yeah. You build a camp. Uh, anything else you guys want to do during your short rest other than eat? And I guess no one needs to. No one's been hurt. No one needs to expend any. Can we try and repair the boat? Yeah, that's great. Uh, how? Um. Magic. <laughs> magic repair. I love that idea. Um, I I just I just need to know how you guys are doing it. Can I? Presentation doesn't do anything like that, right? Um, God, what, where's Bell when you need him? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do a like a would it be a perception check to see how it? What damage was done? Uh, you can just inspect the boat. I'll just describe the damage. Um, there's some holes from the alligator head bit, and then there's some uh, acid damage to the side that has worn a couple of holes. So it, it's not severe damage. You okay. could patch it up, but um, you know it certainly is going to continue to require bailing. Okay. I'm gonna keep. Cast, I'm gonna continuously cast um, prestidigitation to just like clean it off. Okay. You uh, you clean. I'm like casting and like it's just wiping. You're sound away. blasting sound it off. Yeah. <laughs> by this point, I've ma- I've made my packed weapon, and I'm like trying to cut off like branches and and stuff right. to like get wood. To, okay. Like, I've made a, a spit and roasting, roasting some snake. snake, pulling pieces off and tossing it to squeeze every once in a while. This squeeze, squeeze kind of. eats the snake. <laughs> squeeze actually probably doesn't need to eat for a little while. It eats a little bit, but he still digest it. Still yeah, digesting. Yeah, digesting that like, juice. Don't the pig, those man. snakes. Yeah, snakes don't have to eat after they fed for like a, a week or something. She eats like for that. for fun. <laughs> That's true. That's a, a lot of too. calories. Yeah. A lot of calories for a snake that big. A he, a large snake eating a person is like a regular snake eating a mouse. That's frightening. <laughs> Horrific. Yeah. Let's all just sit with that, that thought for a minute <laughs> as we picture this snake this guy tossing snake other snake to catch out of the air and swallow. 
Um, so, uh, moving on then. Um, so you're cutting some branches. Does anyone have any kind of tools or anything in like a kit of theirs? I do have an artisan set of woodworking tools. Ooh. Yeah, that's <laughs> like exactly what that you need. Exactly uh, what it's you just would funnier use. to watch everyone try to, to try to work together and do it. <laughs> I have a painter set. I can like clean up the paint. <laughs> uh, you're, so you're wa- you're sitting there uh, watching everyone try to repair this boat. Are you gonna speak up and? Uh, hey, hey! Uh, it looks like you need a better tool for cutting that wood. I, I think I uh, I pull out you know a saw. There you go. That that might help a little better. I look at this saw versus my magical katana. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll take the yeah, saw. Yeah, yeah. I get, I get the saw. It's a little bit better does, than trying does, to do it with a rapier. Does anyone else need like a chisel for Punching wood or, you know, either nails or anything? I mean, I've got oh, a whole bunch of these supplies. Is there anything to patch a hole? It looks like there's a couple of sprung in that boat. Oh, I think I got, you know, oh, here's a hammer. And uh, uh, let's see, see, I got some nails right here for you. Now, Jamie's over there getting your wood. <laughs> <laughs> the knot of steel is just like shoo, shoo, so sharp that it cuts through uh, the material plane and into the ethereal plane. Oh. oh, that's why it can hit ghosts. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, you guys, um, give me a profession woodworking. With no wisdom. Do you have proficiency woodworking? Uh, no, I just have proficiency in the tools. Okay, so you add your proficiency bonus okay. to using them. So uh, it's a wisdom related check. So I believe that is a 10. Okay, um, that's good enough. It's not pretty. It's obvious that some work has been done, but it'll hold. Can I paint it to make it more pretty? No, <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, go ahead. You can do that. Is that. Uh, it's uh, a wisdom check with your Perfect proficiency because of your uh, if you're proficient with your tools. I am. Uh, so I think just ten. Okay, so you you patch it up. It's not quite as obvious, <laughs> but it's still pretty obvious. I imagine you hold the uh, the paintbrush like you would your rapier. Uh, oh, <laughs> at, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start splash back away. No splash. I also do that in real life. I imagine you do, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, I think we're good. Uh, you guys eat the snake. Um, good short rest, everyone. You spend like maybe an hour or so cleaning this up, and now we can hit the road. Alright. Alright, so like, where are we going? Well, our dinner said that way. <laughs> well, that's where we go. Um, I will be, I'll be right behind Slick. With uh, my gun and my loot. Uh, wonderful. You guys uh, walk for maybe uh, a few minutes. The uh, the dry land, well, the dry land, the damp earth that is not water, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, continues to move on. Uh, and you're trudging through the swamp. The swamp kind of this direction gets a little more acidic. And it, as you get closer and further in, it gets harder to move. It's like sticky, you know, sticky mud earth. Oh, that's the worst. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it actually is difficult terrain. So you're like Squatch. having to slog Squatch. through. Although I guess Slick knows, Slick knows all the places where to stand. Yeah. So you guys... Is it for his party no, no or just for him? It's the whole group. Oh, oh wow. So he yeah. shows... Just like, nah, it's following. Good. Fifth edition is so much better about that. It doesn't say, like, the ranger. It's not like fucking Lord of the Rings. You're like, Legolas can walk on the snow, but everyone else is crushed. He's like, <laughs> the, he can help the whole party out. So, nice. so yes. good. So, well, Such a good choice. Well, I imagine it's like Slick's ahead of us, and he's like... Stepping out. Yeah, there. exactly. Or well, yeah. well, we just step in his footprints. Exactly. And then, you know, he shows you guys right where to step, and so it doesn't slow you guys down at all. So maybe you trudge through the mud a little bit, and he goes, oh, no, no, this isn't right. And you make it all the way. Um, you can see as it starts to get a little bit dark, because uh, it's pretty much nighttime now, and you hear the hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo of owl bears, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> off in the distance, and the, the lightning bugs come up. You can hear the ribbits of either frogs or bullywugs. It's hard to say. Um, and you can come in, you can see in the clearing, uh, a little ways out, you can see the, uh, the light of a hut, uh, that is built up out of the ground, so it's like on stilts with like a little staircase that moves back and forth up to it. Uh, it's a simple hut. You can see that there's, uh, wug-wug talisman and stuff that are 
hanging off the side. There's a, a, a thing to keep spirits away out in the front, which is like a skull with like a dream catcher on it. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, um, and um, you can see that there's a couple of, uh, a couple of boats um, parked nearby. Uh, this looks like the Wugwitch house. We're going to end our session there. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> uh, and we'll pick it up right right there uh, next time. So I'll uh, move on to questions, comments, concerns. I don't like chases. You don't like chases? I don't like chases. I, I like to. Okay, let's, let's hear the arguments. Don't like chases. I mean, you have to be really kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, when you have so many choices that you don't know what to do. So you don't do anything. So it's like all you have to do is, oh, I move the boat boat forward, and then this one was a little bit interesting because I had you guys all moving as one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Normally you would be yourself, and then you could do things just like combat. I mean, uh, maybe, maybe it's because of two chases that we've had, it's been able to like, I cast the spell to make it not want to chase us anymore and chase over or whatever, you know? <laughs> chase it's like, over. So it's like I, I didn't, I, I wasn't like. Then capture the me. I was on the edge of my seat because it's like, oh, I moved the boat forward, and then like maybe we hit a rock, but then we don't hit a rock or something like that. You know. To be fair, we we all rolled really well, so like nothing yeah. seemed to. I will say that that we were we were on the. I mean, again, it comes back to we're we're all pretty high powered adventurers, people. So it does. Come I think perhaps at like a in a first level when you're like catching criminals on the streets. Yep. But, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to probably try a few more to try to get them right. Maybe I'll mm-hmm. do like a standard one like through the market eventually. Uh, I have one coming up in another campaign that we'll see how that goes. Okay. Uh, I, I just felt like I didn't know what to do besides just move the boat forward. You sure. Know? It's like it, none, of my, none of my spells can particularly like... Or applicable. Or applicable in that point. I had that feather token which like did... You know, a lot of work, but other than that, I didn't feel like I was particularly helpful or useful or anything. So. Okay. Maybe if you like yeah, put numbers, if we had numbers for like the how much health the boat had or like how much water was coming in, that would, maybe would have been better. I was keeping track of that. The boat was down from three hundred points to two hundred and twenty points. Okay. Okay. Um, so there was a significant chance that um, you guys didn't hit the things that hit hit the boat. Yeah, I okay. guess you, perhaps you guys are too competent for DC fifteen checks. I uh, and then, I thought it was fun. I yeah. thought it had gave us. I, get, I thought it gave us like that because obviously we have to travel a long ways for this section. So I thought it just gave us some urgency to it. Made, yeah, made it interesting instead of just we trod for hours and you know, I don't know. It, Maybe it, making a choice between like having to bail the boat or like letting it move. I definitely like, think yeah, there's yeah, some maybe you can boost when you're type situation. To bail. Because, like, bailing was cool, but he could also move the boat while he was bailing. Like, if one person was a dedicated pilot. Perhaps then a more, if I was to do this again, perhaps a more um, resource allocation element yeah. would yeah. be better. Like, you have a certain number Mostly. of, a certain amount of time to do something. And, well, it's like a survival yeah. horror well, chase. And also, it's <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I would think maybe if we saw the alligator during the course of it, we, you know, people could try and, like, maybe shoot, shoot at it or something like that. If yeah. You, if you weren't bailing it out or something like that. That not seeing the alligator, not going like I don't know what to do because I can't see it, felt kind of like, well, what do I do? Okay, you know? that's fair. Uh, what else? Uh, not to keep harping on the the system, but like the the it almost felt a little low stakes, just because like we only encountered the alligator like three or four times. Twice. That's yeah. true. Um, um, a lot of things I would have done differently. Um. It, having you guys all move the boat as one, I think perhaps what I would should have done is had whoever is driving the boat move it during their turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Which would have been funny because we need his casting spells, we need him trying to talk to it, and then the only person who would left to see the boat would be either Jamie or them, and they're not so proficient in steering boats. Yeah, yeah that would have been. That would have been. That would have been more. Fun. So then yeah. been more like, inept. Or, yeah, or maybe like, like hey, we keep it steady. Or you maybe the uh, the driver has to make a check to do it correctly or something like that like a low dc check to make sure it, you know. yeah but i probably would if i had a chance again like because you guys skipped the original plan for session three mm-hmm. uh rob and i cooked this up in 10 minutes yesterday yeah. okay. uh, <laughs> so um so that's a little bit while it feels kind of clunky because it was sort of like a conceptual thing uh yes i think resource allocation would have been a much better way to do it where we have 
Um, it's more like a, it, we don't use the map, it's more of a countdown, and we have a map of the boat, and you have to like say, I'm here, I'm doing this, like you, and there's like tasks that you have to do, and then as you fail a check, perhaps there's more tasks that like come up. Mm -hmm. That's basically designing a board game. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it could be, could be fun, maybe I'll cook some rules up yeah. for I it. I have the, I have like the chase cards and stuff like that for like the Pathfinder system, and I think we've done a couple of those chases, and they're actually pretty cool. I, I this is kind of like the card system, um, I like this better. I like the that the you can cause complications for the person behind you. That is definitely yeah. something I would yes, agree. That's, that's very, cool. very cool. I think it would be more... I think if we saw more of the chase yesterday, like, people would have been slipping on ale and yeah, running into yeah. women and hitting their faces on doors. That was, that was the tripping, home. Tripping over Gaimon's uh, prone corpse, yeah. prone, yeah. prone body. <laughs> prone corpse? Yeah. He's killing me already, man. Why did he die in this chase? Yeah. <laughs> it, it got intense. Cool. Um... um I like the uh, the gloves, the uh, Bully Walk Trial with oh, the poison yes. arrow. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was that really was, cool. That was a very nice touch. The, uh, I like the uh, yeah. homage to the uh, to the fan boats that are <laughs> yes. indicative of like a bayou type place, so that was really cool. Yeah. And, it's only because Jamie and the, yeah. the, uh, yeah. and the meta, the meta uh, introduction the meta of the, that there's a fan. The into giant awesome real fan. Mm, that was cool. Um, um, I loved when Slick killed the. I was yeah. not expecting that, but I should have seen it coming. Yep, it was, um, he, that was hilarious. Yeah, lives off the land. I was, yeah. There might, I guess there would have. I don't know how. I don't think Claire Ann would have like been overly upset, but it's it a snake. Just like, I mean, but, you guys wouldn't have heard it talk or anything. So oh, I was cast. I think. I don't know if I was helping, but I I was under the impression I was casting animal friendship. Yeah, he well he because he didn't have to yeah. persuade it to do anything, so okay. it was friendly. Yeah. Well, no, but what I'm saying is like it's not like you guys listen to this thing talk to me and then oh, no. I killed like a sentient. He just yeah, like was looking at it like making yeah, was, <laughs> and then goes <laughs> yeah, go like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. And, and Stick's very much lay of the land. Like, he's very much... Yeah, everything yeah. has a purpose in the grand scheme of nature. I assume that's how I'm in interpreting it. And so, yeah, like, you help me, and now you're going to serve another purpose. Feeding me. And Thank you, Snake. Feeding yeah. me and my friends. <laughs> 50 go 100 gold for a boat? Well, boats are worth 10,000 gold pieces or something like that. Are we talking, like, 20... Like, a Wayfarer-type boat? Or are we talking... It's, a, it's, a sale. it's in the DMs guy. We can look it up after. Okay. I said 50 gold a day. Because I, I was saying, like, 10 isn't a lot. But essentially, this guy's, like... Trying to because the boat is his whole livelihood. I was thinking Isn't afterwards, he, 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 he wasn't a boat rental place, he was just a, I think, oh. a fisherman lending oh, you his boat. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it was a, it was I was definitely under the impression like we were going to a, a Magic a Mike's old uh, boat. <laughs> I thought I thought about that, but I that just didn't make any sense yeah. in this. Like, how many for the one the one guy who has boats to rent when like two people need boats? <laughs> yeah. There's not like swamp yeah. tours. That's not a swamp. Thing. Tour. <laughs> no, no, let's go to the swamp over here. Swamp. You know over there. Swamp. There probably is. There are swamp tours, but it's probably not in Crescent Crest. It's smaller. The I have a. There is a cruise line that goes a, around. It's uh. It's already on the wiki. It's like written into a character's backstory. <laughs> And the, the campaign is following this one. Um, it's like Uncle. It's like Uncle Tom's family fun time, <laughs> <laughs> pleasure, pleasure cruise extraordinaire. Something. It's something dumb like that. Wow. You should have taken that. <laughs> you could have, um, but it, it doesn't stop in Crescent Crest. It probably stops oh, okay. in Mary Cageville. Um, I need to check the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's so Wait, many. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All no. right. Um, if there's not anything else, we will see you guys uh, next time for more uh, Threshold shenanigans here on Threshold Homecoming. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, leave some comments down below. Check out our subreddit. Check out our Patreon. Check out all of our uh, other affiliated um, Threshold fun games. Uh, Uncle Fun Time Super Game Extraordinaire. Uh, and uh, we will see you tomorrow for afterwards, and we will see you on Monday for another episode. See you then.